looking here at linear equations. So the first one we have, 4x plus 2 is the same as 3x plus 7. And what we need to do is end up with the x's on one side and those extra numbers on the other. I always look for those extra numbers. If they're positive, I choose the smallest one and I get rid of that. So here, the smallest of those extra numbers is 2. So I'm going to take away 2 from each side. So now I have just 4x on this side. I've taken that 2 away. And then on the other side, I have 3x. And because I've taken 2 away from both sides, that 7 is now at 5. Now I need to look at the side that has an x and an extra number. And I need to get rid of the x so that I just have an x on one side and the extra number on the other. So here, that's 3x. So I'm going to take away 3x from both sides. So that 4x now just becomes 1x, which is just x. And having taken away the 3x, we now just have 5 on the other side. And we've solved this equation, x equals 5. Sometimes you need to do a little bit more at the end to find out what x is. So here we have 6x plus 4 is the same as 4x plus 16. I'm going to do the same as I did before and I'm going to take away the smaller of those extra numbers. So I'm going to take 4 from both sides. So on this side I now have just 6x and on the other side I have 4x and I take that 4 away from 16. So that's now at 12. Now I still have x's on both sides. So I need to get rid of the 4x on the right. So I'm going to take 4x away from both sides. That 6x now becomes 2x. And on the other side, I've taken those 4x's away. I just have 12. This tells us that 2x's are the same as 12. We want to know the value of just 1x. So if we divide that 12 by 2, that gives us 6. So in this case, x equals 6. Here's another one to try, and if you want to pause the video and have a go at this. 3x plus 10 is the same as 5x plus 4. 4 is the smallest of my extra numbers, so I'm going to take that away from both sides. So I have 3x plus 6 is the same as 5x. Now I need to get rid of the x on the side with the 6 on it. So I'm going to take away 3x from both sides. So this side is now 6 is the same as I've taken 3x's away from that 5. So that's 2x. If 6 is 2x, what would 1x be? So 2x is 6, 6 divided by 2, that's 3. So in this instance, x equals 3. This one's a little more complicated because we have some negative numbers in here. Where we have a negative number, so here we have negative 12, I want to take that to 0. I want to get rid of the negative. So I'm going to add 12 to both sides. That means that this side becomes 5x, add 12 to 4, that's 16. And the other side, I just have 3x because I've taken that minus 12 to 0. Now I need to get rid of the 5x on the other side. If I take away 5x from that side, I just have the 16. On the other side, I had 3x and I've taken away 5. So that leaves me with negative 2, or minus 2x. If I ignore the negative to start with, 16 divided by 2, that's 8. Because I'm dividing a positive by a negative, my answer will be negative. Because I've divided 16 by minus 2, my answer will be minus 8. So in this instance, x equals minus 8.